an equation. So we don't know what we don't know what lead's voltage is for that particular half equation. But what we know, if I just write out the order again, it was um, SN, it was lead, and it was nickel. Okay, now the voltage of that complex is um, 0.1 volts, and so we write out overall is equal to 0.1 volts. Okay, now we don't know what the voltage of nickel is and we don't know what lead is, but we know that lead is higher and we know that lead in nickel is lower. So what we're going to say is that overall voltage, we know what it is, it's 0.1. Then we take the voltage of lead, so we take the EMF of lead and we're going to subtract it from the EMF of nickel. But we don't know what those are, those are two unknowns. Okay, so that is going to be our first equation. Alright, now let's have a look at this one. Because um, we have tin and lead together, as you can see, this time tin is higher. It creates a voltage of 0.28, so the overall voltage for that second galvanic cell is 0.28. And we, have, we need to take the EMF of tin this time and subtract it from the thing that's lower, which is lead. Okay, so now what you can see is hopefully, you can see that you can set up these equations in terms of just the voltage of lead itself. You can rearrange these equations. So what we're going to do is we're going to just move this nickel over there and we're going to move this tin over there and then transfer the negative on the other side as well so that we can um, set up the voltages. So. The equation for lead's EMF is equal to 0.1 plus EMF of nickel. And the equation for the second one is minus lead equals to 0 0.8, 0 0.28 take away the EMF of tin. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so now we have equations, we're going to transfer this on the other side. Okay, and we're going to make the lead, the two lead EMFs equal to each other because they are. So we're just going to say that this equation is 0.1 plus the voltage, the EMF of nickel equals to minus 0.28 plus the EMF of tin. Okay? And now we need to just basically set this up. Remember that, as I keep on writing this out, here we have tin, there we have lead, and then we have nickel. So the way we need to set out the EMF for this particular lead nickel um, galvanic cell is that we need to put first, um, sorry, tin and nickel galvanic cell. We first have to put tin and make sure that it is at the top and that it's subtracting from the EMF of the nickel. So we must make sure that tin is positive and nickel becomes negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer that over here and we're going to transfer that value over here. So what we're going to have is 0.1 plus 0.28 equals to the EMF of tin take away the EMF of nickel, which is what it's meant to be. It's meant to be take away, okay, because nickel is lower. So that means that the difference of EMF when you have tin and nickel together, give you 0.38 volts. Okay? So that, that is actually the answer. Okay? So I hope you learned something in today's tutorial. And in the next few lessons, we're going to be going through more problems involving these particular um, questions. I hope you learned something and have a great day. Bye.